Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from January 17th to the 23rd and I'm using this SPC kit that was clearly meant for the Halloween time of year, but I'm using it now um, for a couple reasons. Number one, like I keep mentioning, I have way too many Halloween kits and I already know I'm going to buy more this year. I already have, so I have to use them. And in my opinion, this is more of like a fashion girl kit with like a horror movie theme. It's not really Halloween. Like Friday the 13th is about a summer camp. It takes place in, in the summer. So you know what? It's fine. Um, and I thought that this kit was appropriate. Um, again, I don't have enough uh, winter kits to fill January this year. I think I'll do better next year. Um, but also, uh, this week, my boyfriend and I went down to Washington, like the Washington DC area, um, to celebrate his best friend's, um, daughter's first birthday. And, uh, my boyfriend's best friend and I have a very similar, I don't know what you would call it. Like we're both really into the old classic scary movies and we both read like, <clears throat> excuse me, similar books and stuff. So I was like, you know what? We're going to be, st so we stay when we go to their house. Um, we stay in like their finished basement, which is also sort of like, I don't want to call it a man cave because that's disgusting, but it's where he has like all of his horror movie memorabilia. So essentially we're sleeping in like a Jason Michael Freddy themed bedroom. So that's why I figured I could get away with using this kit this week. It makes sense in my mind. Um, this week I did a little bit better with the bottom washi on the left-hand side. It's still not perfect. It's still too far to the left. Um, I think I end up getting, I don't know. I think I got it right the next one, but Regardless, I'm still not loving having to like get really, really close to the page in order to um, line up all of my boxes. And I don't know how much of my head you've had to see in any of these plan with me's. Um, but if you ever do see the top of my head in future plan with me's, I apologize, but I can't see. Um, and also, I, I'm sure you've noticed, I keep picking up the full boxes like a lot more than I would like, and I'm running the risk of ripping the paper constantly. So yeah, I'm hoping I get the hang of it. Like I thought I was doing something by lining up the full boxes with the top and bottom um, headers, but for some reason, even when I match up the, the um, corners exactly, it doesn't fit right. I don't know if it's me or the planner or both, but I'm like, I'm just struggling. Um, either way, luckily all of the spreads have come out pretty, pretty well. I'm, I'm happy with them. And luckily my planning style is busy enough where I don't think that the, um, slight misalignment is too noticeable. But anyway, enough blabbing. I'm going to start with the day by day, starting with, um, the sidebar, like I said, we traveled to the DC area and it was Michael's best friend's daughter's first birthday. Sorry, that's a mouthful. Um, so those are the two items that I marked on the sidebar, just with these, um, balloons that I had left over from a kit and this little planning roses car. Moving on to Monday, the first thing I marked with an appointment label and a box from Sticky Perks, I marked that I took out the recycling with a little thing and this Design Ski Sticker Co. Red Bull bottle. I marked that I forgot my Red Bull. Um, I wanted to bring one with me to do all my errands and I forgot it and that just like, oof, that made me mad. Um, with a little thing and this uh, priority mailbox also from Sticky Perks. I marked that I went to UPS to mail something with a fancy label and a Papershire purse. I marked that I ran just a bunch of other errands that I didn't really have the space to mark individually. With a fancy label and this Papershire like sandwich sticker, I marked that we got Ruby Tuesday with a flag and this is another one of these like random stickers that I've gotten on a freebie or something that I decided to save. I marked that um, we went to Aldi with a fancy label and this upset munchkin. 
I'm hard said I'm not getting text notifications. Um, this was a problem for a while, and actually now my phone is super annoying because I messed around with the settings so much and nothing was working. When I finally got my phone to work properly, all of the settings kicked in, and now like my phone tells me who's calling me and rings. I get two different email notifications instead of one, so now I'm annoyed that I'm getting too many notifications. Anyway, um, moving on, under that with a quarter box and this Once More With Love little road trip sticker, I marked that I passed out in the car. Um, during this time, I was sleeping so much like I mentioned, and there's actually a bunch of naps that I stopped marking just because I didn't have the space, and I realized when I was looking through my notes that I had been taking a nap every single day and like a bunch of naps that I didn't mean to take, like I would just sit down and fall asleep. Um, so yeah, this, and this is just like a really good example of it this week. I slept so, so much. It was like an unhealthy amount, if that's possible. With a fancy label and this munchkin looking at their phone in bed, I marked that I cuddled alone in bed and I, I called it cuddling because we were both going to take a nap and then um, Joe got distracted by actually being productive. So I went and took a nap by myself um, with a little thing and this little laptop from Piper Paper Company. I marked that I worked and then the final thing on Monday with this uh, little movie slate sticker I marked that I watched a movie called 1BR which funny enough is the movie I was talking about in my plan with me from two weeks ago I think I called it what was it sorry now I need to look because it's gonna drive me crazy I watched the movie oh The Resident so yeah my bad but I watched so many like movies that had the same sort of theme the resident was about a woman who uh was like going through divorce and uh rented a new apartment so they're both about a woman renting an apartment which is what confused me but one br is the movie that's about the girl who gets the apartment in the weird complex with all of the strict rules um both were entertaining if you're into sort of like subpar horror thriller movies i recommend them both Moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I marked with a little thing and this, um, where is this from? This laptop? I use it all the time. I think it's GP Studio, but I'm blanking. I apologize. I marked that I worked with a fancy label and this is a little like poltergeist TV that was left over from another Halloween kit that I had had in the past, but I used it this week to mark that I watched YouTube with the flag from the kit and this pumpkin paper co- Tara sitting at a desk with her planner and coffee. I marked that I planned with a squared off box and an emoji looking at their phone. I marked that I FaceTimed my friend Rosie from Rosie Plans. And then the final thing on Tuesday, I marked that I started, like I finally started watching Euphoria in bed. I had been holding off to try to get my boyfriend to watch it with me, but he just like wasn't interested. So I just went ahead and watched it by myself and it was so good. I ended up convincing him to watch it with me. So I watched the first few episodes twice. <laughs> Um, moving on to Wednesday, the first thing I marked with a squared off box and this emoji with cramps and a little, um, blood drop. I marked that I was just like, the flow was so heavy and the cramps were so bad. It was just a really, really, really bad period day with a little thing. And another one of these laptops, I marked that I worked with a quarter box and a Netflix sticker from my, also, I think it's also from Design Ski Sticker Co. I marked that I watched the movies Night Teeth and Deadly Illusions. Night Teeth was terrible. It was so, so bad. Do not recommend. Um, just terrible. Uh, moving on. Uh, with a fancy label and this Tara in a teacup, I marked that I made chai lattes for everyone. I made one for my boyfriend, my roommate, and myself. With a fancy label and these munchkins, like, I don't know, arguing, I guess, I marked that we were having a heated discussion about made. Um, I just have very strong feelings about that show. I love that show, and I thought it was done so well. And when she... You know what? I'm not going to say it just in case. I don't want to give any spoilers, but we disagreed on something that she did, but I could see it from like a very emotional uh, woman struggling. You know, like I could understand why she made that decision. And my boyfriend's like, no, no excuses. I'm like, mm, 
It's not black and white, bitch. But anyway, excuse me. Sorry for the language. Moving on. With a little thing in these munchkins sitting on a couch, I marked... Oh my gosh, I can't see it. It's so dark. Oh, I marked that we watched the challenge finale. I had to like shine the light on the ink to make it show up on this black sticker. With a little thing and a pillow that's left over from a kit, I marked that Joe stayed over. Um... He usually leaves and goes and stays at his apartment because he's like very particular and does not like not being home. But he did stay. Moving on to Thursday with a fancy label and this munchkin laying on a pillow. I marked that I was up on time for once. I couldn't believe it. I didn't sleep through all my alarms. And when they went off, I actually got up, which is a miracle. With a little thing and this emoji FaceTiming on a laptop, I marked that I had a Zoom meeting with a quarter box and this stack of books from Planting Roses. I marked that I finished the book Malibu Rising, which I did enjoy. It was definitely like not what I normally go for, but um, it was decent. I did like that it tied into um, The Seven Husbands of e Evelyn Hugo, which I also wasn't that crazy about. I liked this book more than that, but they are in the same universe, which is kind of fun. With a little thing and this Nike shoe from Piper Paper Co., I marked that I walked to, to a UPS access point with a fancy label. And this is actually a headache, Tara, but I, I don't do it in this video, but I end up coloring her shirt in black because it does say headache and I didn't have a headache. I had an earache. Um, my ears are insanely sensitive to the cold and I hate hats. I do own one, I think, somewhere that isn't like, I have a baseball cap, but that's like for summer. Um, so yeah, and I wear my hair in a ponytail a lot. So then like, I need to get earmuffs and I got some for Christmas, but they don't really fit well. Um, I try to use them, but they're, they're also, I'm going on about this forever, but the last thing is they're also really bulky. So they don't fit in my purse or in any jacket pockets. So I really just need like one of those, like, um, ear bands that is just a piece of like fleece that I can roll up and shove in my pocket or my purse because yeah my ears were killing me from the walk with a piece of washi and this little munchkin hanging on to the corner I marked that I finally set up my new phone it took me a while let me know if any of you are the same where you get a new like laptop or whatever and you just procrastinate setting it up I do that all the time and then the final thing for Thursday with an appointment label and this cute little bathtub sticker that I saved from some random kit, I marked that I showered and did my hair. Moving on to Friday, the first thing I marked with a fancy label and this happy munchkin was that I got up on time again. I couldn't believe it. Two days in a row. It's like unheard of at this point in my life. So that was great. With a little thing and another one of these laptops, I marked that I worked. Then with a little thing and this emoji with all of their suitcases, I marked that I packed. With a fancy label and a little black cat from Sweet Quiet Design, I marked that I prepped all of Janet's stuff for my roommate because I was going to be gone all weekend and it was the first time I wasn't like taking her with me or leaving her with someone else. I was leaving her with my roommate and um, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just very like... It was just stressing me out. So I wanted to make sure that everything was ready. All of our food was ready. All the instructions are ready because um, I'm a control freak. Under that, with a fancy label and a road trip sticker, I marked that um, we loaded up the car and we hit the road with a little thing and a slice of pizza from Once More With Love. I marked that we got Domino's and it was probably the worst Domino's I've ever had. I love myself a crappy chain pizza slice, but dear God was this bad. It was like not cooked enough. It had so much cheese on it. Like I prefer a normal amount of cheese and extra sauce. So no sauce and like three times the amount of cheese. The texture of it is just, ugh, mm. Mm, I hated it, but I ate it. I, I ate it. I ate it um, anyway because I didn't want to be difficult, but I did not like it. With a little thing and this munchkin holding a baby, I marked that I played with um, the birthday girl. Then with a little sliver of washi and this munchkin in pajamas, I marked that I took a nap. I took I like I couldn't hang I went downstairs and passed out immediately and then the final thing on Friday that I marked with um, 
a little thing and another planning roses book stack was that i was reading my dark vanessa which i loved it's so screwed up like i loved it but i also hated it you know what i mean like oh it was disgusting um but so good and then i i read that for a little bit and then just went back to sleep i could not hang Moving on to Saturday, the first thing I marked with a little thing and this really cute sticker of someone in like a towel on their head, cucumber slices and a face mask. I marked that I got ready. I wish it was that glamorous, but um, it was not. Uh, with a piece of washi and these happy munchkins, I marked that we didn't hold everybody up, which made both of us really excited. My boyfriend and I are always like the last people to wake up because we go to bed really late and normal adults go to bed at like 10 or 11 and we're up at like two or three um but we were finished getting ready before everybody else and that was just that was just a big win so I wanted to mark it with a half box and this munchkin holding a present I marked that it was um her first birthday party so I yeah I wanted to mark that um and at the party her um her older cousins with there were there and they are obsessed with me I'm not kidding these two kids like worship the ground I walk on and I just want to like be left alone or like hang out with the adults but I feel bad so obviously I'm gonna play with them even though it's like the last thing I want to do um but I will say something really really cute they did is when the pinata um broke they caught wind that I only like cherry flavored candy and they like brought me every single piece of cherry candy they could find which was really 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 sweet so you know what I take it back it's not annoying it was it was cute um anyway with a little thing and this tired munchkin I marked that I was exhausted of course and then the final thing on Saturday I marked with this cursing Tara was that I was irritable probably because I was so tired Moving on to Sunday with a little thing and another tired munchkin. I marked that I slept forever. And this is sort of what I mean. I was the first one to go to sleep on Saturday and I was the last one to wake up on Sunday by a long shot. Um, I just had no energy and it was definitely the medication because it was something that I like just could not kick. It wasn't just my, like, I'm always tired, let's be honest. And I always have trouble waking up, but this was, this was something else with a squared box and another munchkin holding a baby i marked that i played more with the baby <laughs> with a little thing and this uh the same little sandwich sticker from paper shire i marked that we ordered in from this place called pot belly sandwiches which we had always wanted to try and unfortunately it was a little disappointing it just wasn't what i hoped it would be because I love sandwiches um, and salads, but they can, they either have to be perfect or it's not like getting French fries. Even bad French fries are good, but a bad sandwich or a bad salad is just bad. Then with a little thing and this open suitcase from Carly Plans, I marked that I packed. Um, and then with a half box, another Planning Roses car and this little munchkin in pajamas, I marked that we drove home and I slept the entire ride. I'm telling you there was something wrong with me. That's like, I want to say it's three hours. Maybe I'm remembering that wrong. It's a long ride. I slept the entire thing after waking up late. Um, and then the very last thing for Sunday with this half box and munchkins on the couch, I marked that we watched and just like that um and then also the new snl um yeah so i should have marked on my sidebar that there that i just slept all week because that's basically all i did i'm telling you it was like i couldn't i i was waking up just to work and then once i was finished working like i would open my laptop in bed once I was finished working, I would go back to sleep. It was disgusting. And then I'd wake up to eat dinner and then like go back to sleep. It was, I, I don't know. But anyway, that's it for this plan with me. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.